Hello, uh, Vince Crawl here again. I'm doing something new here. Instead of filming me actually play the game, um, for Skate or Die, I went around and tried it out and played it. And I got some decent footage. So I thought I would just do a voiceover. And here we go. So loading it up. Um, it's going to come up with a title screen and then it starts, this takes a while. I cut out a whole bunch of time here and eventually you'll see the screen come up and then it plays like the skate or die theme, which is pretty cool. But I let it just play for to see if it would stop and it went for like five minutes. So I played a little bit of it and then cut it down. And maybe I'll release about five minutes of it. Because after five minutes, it started to just kind of repeat. But it was pretty cool. I was actually thinking about learning. Uh, there it is. Learning to play. I think I want to learn how to play this on guitar and play the drums to it. It's pretty simple, but it's pretty... In fact, it's all just computerized... The Commodore's got this SID chip that can do like multiple sounds at the same time. So that's how they can make it sound like there's chords going on and stuff. But it's pretty badass. Alright. So yeah, like I said, I can upload a, a longer video of that. And I'll probably end up uploading... A video of me trying to learn how to play it, or maybe once I play it, maybe I'll play along with the Commodore 64 or something fun. Um, now it's just loading. I thought I caught a bunch of this out. What is taking so long? I mean, that's part of the charm of the Commodore 64, is that while you're playing it in real time, you just have to be patient. And there's sometimes the computer doesn't seem like it's doing anything. And then all of a sudden, boom, it'll come up. So this is, uh, yeah, I went, it still saved all the high scores that I had back in the 80s. Because you could see Vince Crawl and Tony Hawk. I even had Dave LaRue play. I don't think he actually played it, but he did come to the skate park. All right, yeah, you got to sign up if you want to compete. In this video, I'm not even going to mess with that first. I'm just going to show you the different areas. That, you know, there's the sign-up sheet. I'm just going to hit cancel. But you can sign up multiple people and then compete. And you'll see when you go, oh, want to change your board color? I think you have to win something in order to be able to change your board color. Yeah, because it keeps defaulting to go compete if you want to change your board color. That's funny. That's like old school. If you want to change your board, you got to get sponsored by competing. So this is the main screen. You can't really do any tricks, but if you put the nose against the curb, it'll look like you're doing a nose slider. And this is the school, uh, the skating to the pool joust. This one you can choose. Oh, I guess you can choose one. Th three different people um i chose poser pete and it's been so long since i played this i for i forgot that you only have so many passes see i've got the baton oh and then it switches after five walls and then the other guy chases you and he knocked me on my ass so it took me a while to kind of figure this out cool thing is, is that you can do board slides and you don't ever bail. Then like that was not only to fakey to shifty. So you can do little little ollies out of the pool and little board slides. But the only time you fall is if that jerk hits you with the big gleaming the cube jousting stick American Gladiators. So yeah, it took me a while to kind of figure this one out. 
jeez, I guess I should have cut all this crap out. It's kind of boring to watch now. Yeah, I need to practice again. Okay, Poser P, let's see if you can get her, get the job done. Oh, I think I get him right here. No. There you go. Yeah, a couple times I, because it, if you don't have the wand, you drop in first if you don't have the wand, and if you have the wand, it makes you wait until the guy's like halfway through the pool. Well, I see it's one to one right now. Two to one. Ooh. Ah. Come on, poser Pete. Oh, I think I'm fighting poser Pete. I thought I got to choose who I was. I'm just rando dude with the sunglasses, I guess. I wear my sunglasses when I joust. Yes, I can, so I can do 540 ollies. Not bail unless. Stupid American Gladiator comes. Oh, I guess I'm the American Gladiator now. Actually, I started kind of skating close to him at the top of the lip to see if that... Ah, that didn't help. Oh. There you go. Right out of a fake... Ollie to fakey. Boom. You just got thrashed, buddy. Next time I play this, I'm going to see if I can just do an ollie and stop halfway and come in like sideways and if it'll, it'll keep me on I think it'll keep me on the board or it might just auto correct as you come in cuz like when you get out of the ramp that no oh that was the one I won yay finally all right I cut out a lot of the skating to the skate shop those were huge strips okay and now this is the downhill. See the two ones on the bottom? If you go to the race or the jam. And you'll see the difference. But this, you had to actually take the disc out and flip it over. Because these two events are on the back side of the disc. Because it's a double-sided disc. Again, this took a while. Skating to downhill was up for quite a while. So I cut that out. And... The downhill was really difficult because you're going downhill, but you have to push up to move forward. And then the left and the right seem backwards. Oh, look at that jump. Yeah, you have to really go fast to make that, I think. Oh, he just did a little jump. Yeah, something wasn't working right because I couldn't jump like bunny hop here and I couldn't duck down because I think those are like a Mario Brothers tube coming up. And I'm pretty sure you could you could duck into that and go through that. And then I just ran into that flag and then the gravel gets me. Oh! Again, the music. It's definitely... 8-bit race music. Yeah, that so you would have come out that tube and you would have been set up right. Oh, and then that you can jump up that ramp to the left there. I think I give this like one or no, I get it more than one. I get, this is the first shot. I might try it two or three more times, maybe. Because what I ended up doing was turning the joystick around physically in my hand so that when I hit up 
it's like I was skating the way I, see this one it made more sense I got the joystick backwards for whatever reason that makes it easier to do and yeah I kept hitting that so you need to either be able to that one you need to be able to duck the other one you have to jump that one you duck and I couldn't get him to I tried pushing the button I tried to jump him here I try to figure out how to get you know, so again, this is one of those levels that I need to practice a little bit and get better at and just record and release. See? Ooh, I made that jump. Yeah, better stuff like that. And that... Couldn't jump. I feel like you could jump over some of that gravel. Oh. Yeah, I only made it through two of those. That was just... It was annoying. It didn't feel good. Oh, now we're skating to the jam. Again, cut out a lot of time there. And this is weird. Practice. Press your button. So this is... I think you're supposed to be playing together. And again... The controls are all backwards. But you see, you can ollie 180. See, the other guy's doing 180 ollies. And the water just slows you down. Doesn't make you wreck, but... Yeah, I need to find the instructions to figure out how to do little ollies and stuff. Because the other guy's totally like... I figured out how to go through the fence. That doesn't work. It's, just, it's electric fence, and it cuts you into little tiny pieces. And then my buddy got stuck behind the building over there. That's funny. Where did he come from? Where'd he go? There he comes. I think, yeah, if, you get, if you're get if playing together and you get left behind, you die. And then you just automatically show back up. But it doesn't count. Well, maybe it counts against your score. But yeah, you're just trying to get through this downhill jam. And right down to the cop car from Police Academy, folks. What a fun game concept. Okay. This one I probably only made it through twice too because I'm never impressed with this part of the game, that's for sure. But it gets better, I promise. Don't worry. Save the best for last. Woo! Don't go in the manhole. Last thing we want is for Lester to go in the manhole. Ooh, do a do a curb hopper. This is fun. Hey, let's go through that fence again. Oh man, they ran into each other. They got little mohawks and stuff. There's that fence again. That doesn't work. Mahoney. This isn't skateboarding, officers. This is carrying a skateboard. So now we get to the thing that makes this game pretty incredible, and it's not the high jump. Do not go into the high jump, Vince. Why are you just sitting there? Wake up. Time to go skate. Let's go freestyle at the ramp. Freestyle at the ramp. There we go. Oh, not the high jump, not the high. No, it's fine. I was joking. Skate into the high jump. So, this is weird because this is the vert ramp. But it doesn't function the way the other one functions. Like, normally you'd hit the button right there at those grayed out parts. And that's why I lost all my speed. But really what you have to do, and I remembered quickly, is you have to violently shake the joystick left to right, left to right, like you're pumping. So, like, right when I drop it, I go... Clap, go back and forth. Oh, see there, I got a little method error. Yeah, but it was still, it was like, what, three, three foot, 11 inches. Yeah, this one you gotta practice. 
And yeah, for the next video, I'm going to go in once I practice a whole bunch without taping it because this is boring. I'm going to go back, figure out how everything works, and then go and compete and try and like see how good I can score or whatever. See if I can break some of my old high score records from 30 plus years ago. Gosh, even more than that. I don't even want to tell you guys how old I am and feeling especially old. Just had a birthday a couple days ago. Practice again? Uh, no. Now we're going to go tear it up like Animal Chin. Do, 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 do. This is actually still, I mean, aside from the, the modern Tony Hawk games, which were awesome. You can't diss those. But back in the 80s, like, this was an awesome game. Um, I still have the packaging for it, and they, like, the guys that made this actually went and, like, hung out with, like, Mark Gonzalez and maybe Steve Caballero. Um, so... This vert ramp, you can actually do some pretty cool badass tricks. Actually, you can do tricks that they couldn't do yet. Um, you can do 540 ollies like this. Boom! And it's clever because the shadow shows you where you can land. You can never land in that damn channel, which I call bullshit on because I used to land in the channel all the time. In fact, that's like kind of a cool, you know, Tampa Pro move these days on the big vert ramps when they got a channel as you land in the channel. But back then, they didn't know that was going to happen. But apparently, they knew they were going to do five four dollies. And the, oh, yeah, you got to come in pretty, pretty perpendicular, just like real life. Every once in a while, you can land a sketch out. So that is just a rotation. Oh, that was like a front side five forty ollie oop ollie. There's you can do inverts. So basically, as you come up to the lip, it depends on which way you push the joystick. So like to do an ollie like that, you gotta just... Oh, that was a board slide 180, that's cool. Rock roll fakie. But like to do the ollie, you kind of barely hit towards the transition you're going to, and that's when he throws his hands up. I might practice a couple more times. Oh, that was like an indie deal. Oh, front side, 540 Ollie into the channel. I guess I'm a regular footer too, so I always loved that I dropped in regular, or the guy drops in regular every time. Whereas if you're goofy footed, you have to pretend like you're dropping it backwards every time, which is kind of a badass move. So, uh, you know, I don't know. At least it used to be badass back then, dropping in switch. In fact, they didn't even, I don't know if they had coined the term switch yet for this or not. It's more just like fakey. I'll have to talk to uh, my buddy Nate Sherwood down at Edu Skate in Cedar Rapids, Iowa. He's a very knowledgeable skater, a badass skater. And uh, he'd probably know. If not, would just call Tony Hawk and ask Tony. Tony knows everything. Oh, front side 540, 900 or whatever. You can't do 900s, but I think you can do. I think you can do 720s. And again, because he can skate forward backwards, you could do all. Oh, that was a big front side ollie late. Oh, just fit. Ah, man, that dang channel. Indie fakey. Oh, 360 method to. Yeah, so I wasn't supposed to keep turning. That's the cool thing, like that. That was cool. It was a little indie, and then went to 540, and that was a method to 360. Which, again, you, I don't think anybody did those, but they started doing them in the 90s. The old backside air to 
360 to fakie. It's a badass move. Oh. Yeah, you can tell I really like this part a lot better. The jousting, I was just... I played too much because I was trying to figure out how to win it. This one, there's no winning it. It's just because you're practicing. You go skate a contest and you got 10 walls. And the more you land, the more points you get. And then obviously, if you don't do shit like that. Sometimes his pads and helmet fly off. Maybe that's just in the... Oh, that was weird. Oh, yeah, you could do... There's, I can't remember. I, you could do little bonelesses. I think I'm done. Skating to the skate shop. I think the video might just end here. Yep.